you know my style. I can make it worth your while. Rule profile. Get it wetter than the river now. Make a nigga come back, no trial. Upgrade how? You've already fucked with the best. Give my all, can't do nothing less. Got swag in my step. You can tell the way that I flex. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Any Views. And I have the lovely, illest Miss Banks. Thank you. That was a good introduction. Oh, come on, man. You know me. I have to do it best. Man. I have to do it best. How you doing, love? I'm good. How are you? Tell me about the launch. How? I heard it was lock off. It was lock off. Epic, epic, so epic. Um, well, obviously, I had loads of artists perform. Yeah, yeah, obviously, uh, shouts to T Dinas, Bassman, yeah. Big Tobes. I know the lineup, Monique big Laws, six, yeah. Yeah, Big Six, everyone did their thing. Steph London, Steph. And, um, it was mad, it was so mad. Obviously, I think I underestimated the amount of people that was going to come out. It was mm. literally ran. Was obviously, that a surprise for you? It was not a surprise because I knew the talent that I had on the lineup, but. Yeah. Like, I only sold, I only put 50 tickets to sell online, mm. and it's like 200 to 300 capacity. So, like, not in a way they want to get out black people, but you know how they stay last minute. <laughs> yeah, then everyone's come on the door. It was crazy. It was mm. crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, cool. So, EP's out now? Yes, it is. How many songs on the EP? Eight. Eight songs? Yeah. Um, what can we expect from you from this EP? Well, loads of things. Um, it's very. I've got loads of like trap beats on there, mm -hmm. um, up tempo. Mm -hmm. I just really vibes with it. A lot more singing compared to my first project because mm -hmm. I always say, "Oh, I'm a rapper slash singer," but I haven't actually showcased that. But on this EP, I've done that, and um, yeah, it's even though they all kind of have the same sound, it's still quite versatile. Okay, cool. So, yeah, was nice. you was you proud of your performance in particular on on the night? Oh, you, on the night. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I practice for it. obviously like anyone that knows me knows that I turn up a lot. I'm always like smoking, not proud of it, or drinking, you know what I mean? But the week before, I literally didn't smoke the whole week. Mm -hmm. I didn't drink, and I was just rehearsing every day. Mm -hmm. And like, it was good because my stamina was much better on stage than usual. I feel like I projected my voice properly, and Perfect. yeah, it was good. Yeah. And obviously, because the lineup was so big, like a lot of people would be like, oh, they got a bigger bus than you, why did you put them on? Or, yeah. you know, they're doing big things, but that's the whole point, like, make everyone come out, every type of different artist network, because they're all talented, yeah. and just gain new fans, and make people see you, and just, you know, I had to step up my game because everyone was so good okay cool are you going to do more shows like that yeah. where you're going to be the headline it was my first one mm -hmm. very stressful but yeah i'll do it again 100 percent. you do it again yeah okay 100%. cool is th that's not going to be the only ep that's released this year well or is it ep i might do another mixtape because yeah. i'm not going to bring out an album for now so mm. a lot of people might think oh you put out EP, ep so you're going to put out an album but um no, I'll keep the projects running, but I'll be doing different things. You're going to see any. I want to be collaborating with different people, maybe collaborating with different labels and mm. certain things. And yeah. Okay, so do you feel like the best of you is yet to come still? Oh, yeah, I'm not even at my prime yet. Like, yeah. Everyone's like, oh, I'm feeling your 2016 vibe. I'm like, yeah, this is just a step up. Like, there's mm. more to come. If you drop down the stairs in front of your male crush celebrity, yeah? <laughs> see, I have to hit you with one of these. <laughs> Would you A, play dead, <laughs> B, laugh it off, or C, get up and run? I'll probably play dead so you can come save me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I might play dead, just act like I'm just there, or laugh it off one of those two. I don't know. <laughs> okay, That's cool. That's such a weird thing. Well, you never know. Have you ever had them embarrassing moments before? Like someone you like and you've just done something oh, silly yeah. or something? Not, something like, not in front of someone I like, mm -hmm. but I've had embarrassing moments. You know? Yeah. What's been your worst one? Losing my wig in Dubai. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I lost my, my wig came off in Dubai. And I was walking around with cameras looking like me, no. Whoa. I don't have no makeup. But anyone knows me knows that I love my weave and I love my hair. <laughs> my wig came off. I went on a ride at mm. Aqua Venture called The Splurge. Mm. And I got on a ride and you have to like, you're in a donut thing and you hold both sides of your sandals and whatever. But I was just thinking about holding the donut. I didn't think about holding my hair. Yeah. But my wig wasn't pinned down. And I was on the ride and um, basically the first bit of it is like a fast dip. It's really high. Yeah. The rest of it is quite slow. And literally the beginning of the ride, like, I was making up noise, like I was because I was nervous. Mm. Everyone's watching me. I've got on the ride and I just felt this big breeze. And I look back and I just saw my Peruvian in the water. <laughs> <Just chilling. laughs> I couldn't die. You know, I was lucky that I wasn't in London because my heart, yeah, I swear. The Chinese girl on the ride was so She was laughing so hard, no, seriously. <laughs> She was laughing so hard, yeah, she was crying. No Chinese people were ready, yeah. I like. I don't even want to start speaking in their language. It was really bad, it was really bad that she was 
busting up. You couldn't see her eyes that she was busting up. Oh, okay, that. that brings me to my next question. Um, if you can give some tips to some guys out there that may be listening and maybe watching the show as well, what would you? What advice would you Crazy, give them? Chival- to give? Like chivalry, like just be nice, be respectful, mm-hmm. um, honest, compliment. Do you think that's the worst in this day and age? Do you feel like the error of the gentleman is gone, or do you still feel like there's no, still some like gentleman? If you like someone, you like them. Of course, you want them to be a gentleman. Obviously, I've got yeah. Mm-hmm. But you could be like, do you know what? Even if you're not a gentleman every day, if you are for me, then I'll be happy with that. Does that make sense? Yeah, I understand that. I like the guy that isn't usually always like that, isn't too friendly with everyone, isn't up in every girl's face and comments and do. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you know, when it comes to the girl, he likes the girls that he's doing. I like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. So and, Hasn't died out. Be a gentleman. Be a okay. gentleman, guys. <laughs> okay, cool. So you just put your status on blast right now. Does that mean that you're inviting people in right no, now? No, you... no one in no, you're, not, you're not on the market. You're still I'm off still, Yeah, yeah, I'm still off guys. I've got to focus on what I'm trying to do, like my music and my career. I can respect that. The, thank you. I've done a long relationship with um, but yeah. Okay, cool. Good. Uh, cool. If you <laughs> found 50k in a duffel bag tomorrow, would you keep it? Of report it? Or if you kept it, what would you do with it? I'd keep it. Mm-hmm. Um, what would you invest with it? Uh, 50k is it's, it's not bad still. So. i just get some stuff done. <laughs> What's my mum? You say you really buy a line of Peruvian, yeah, to make oh, sure that... <laughs> well, I put my money into something and get money back out of it. Yeah, 100%. Mm. Get, like, a like fat TV or something. I don't really watch TV, but I always think I'd like a fat TV. Yeah? <laughs> just to be there, just to have that settled. Oh, okay, cool. Ever. 2016, what, what does that mean to you, basically, this year? Is that another year for you to just go harder than what you did last year? Is there things that you're trying out, that are trying no, to do different this something, year? Something, things have to happen this year. Yeah. It's more, it's more than just me going hard this year. Like, mm. Obviously, I've been like doing this music thing solely, focusing on it. Like, a lot of people that you see that do music don't just do music, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah of course. They're doing other things. And um, I feel like when you're trying to be so creative, you can't really focus on other things. So like, yeah, I have to up the levels. Yeah, I definitely want to go hard, but I need to see a major change this year in my career. Okay, it's cool. about time. Like, I think I've done a lot of things. Um, and obviously it's still up to me because I have to improve and I have to be in the right place at the right time cool. for certain things. But um, yeah, definitely just like bigger levels, bigger okay. levels. Things have to happen, major what, changes. What's your like biggest collaboration? What, what would you be your biggest collaboration? Boy. Yeah, like who would be like the dream one on the lineup you'd like to be on? Um, my biggest collaboration, maybe Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Hey, that, I, I was gonna say that, you know. I love Nicki Minaj. That would be fire, still. I love Nicki Minaj. Oh, but do you reckon you could squat as low as her, though? <laughs> 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 I'm done with you. I could, I could squat as low, but yeah, the ass ain't that big, so it would be looking at the But I could do it, yeah. You could do it, yeah. I'm done with you, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. We're gonna play a quick game called Heads Up, yeah? Yeah. You ready, yeah? All right, cool. Basically, I'm going to put this above my head, yeah? Mm-hmm. And you have to act out the accent. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah? So basically, whatever one that comes up, yeah? You have to act it out and I have to guess which one it is. Do you get it, yeah? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. You ready? Oh, you're right, mate. I'm just going down the pub. Going to have a quick chippy quickly. British. Very little pub, little yeah. Is that a British? What, which, what, what type of British? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> which one is this? Um, Oh, I was running up the stairs. Fuck me, no! Like I got it. Italian. I'm, I'm no, I'm not. No, it's not. It's not a country. Oh. Um, I'm run. I'm a boxer. I'm running up the stairs. Um, I got a. Tony Montana. No. <laughs> It's an actor. Is it an actor? Sylvester Stallone. Oh, is it? Oh, uh, there you go. We need to. We need to do this one again. We need to do this one again. What do you want to do? Mr. DJ. Mr. DJ, right. I don't even remember what you're supposed to even do now. Basically, act it out and just tell me what songs will be coming up. Um. What? We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. We're gonna rock all night to what they like. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. Alright, cool, I got that one. What? Destiny Shard. Oh, TLC. Yeah, 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 cool. Um, I want. How do I want to say Oh, baby, give me one more chance. What? Oh, <laughs> I can't talk again how it goes. I'm dead. I'm dead. 
<laughs> All right, it's cool. Hey, right, that wraps up this interview. Oh, Thank you God. so much, Bax, for coming down. It was a pleasure. Hey, right, keep it locked. Don't go nowhere, man. 4 a.m. I'm on the north side of Willy. Uh, yeah, I've been starting, but I'm ready to do this fully. Uh, it's a shame niggas hate on me. I got a nookie. <laughs> Ain't from the hood, only hood you know is your.